Hello. So in this one, we're going to talk about how to beat Imelda's flight time. I know everybody's having a hard time with that sometimes because you can be hard to steer that broom when you're still new at this. So I'm going to walk you through some of it. And I'm going to show you how I done it, and maybe that will help you out with yours. But each one is a little different. The first thing I would recommend is use a joystick. If you're using a PC, if you're if you're playing this on the PC game, go get a joystick and use a USB joystick. That will help you out so much with flying through the flying courses. I am using a Xbox 360 controller, Bluetooth, that works really well with uh, the Harry Potter games. So I recommend going and buying a, uh, a, 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 a 360 controller for about 40 to 50 bucks. And I'll put the link down in the description below. As you can see, I've already beaten her really well. I've done this the first time around, which was kind of surprising for me. But as you can see, I still have to beat Ruby if I really wanted to try by 20, 20 seconds. But let's, let me show you some of the stuff that I've done in the course to help you get through the first broom racing event. First things first is try to get as many bu bubbles as you can. That helps with your speed and it also helps with your time. Get as many rings as possible too. And if you can, keep on getting bubbles. Sooner or later, you'll, you'll get the, whole, uh, 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 the bubbles you need. Fun. But if you do it just the right way, you'll, you'll get past Im Im Imelda's time and win the, the quest, as I would say. But you gotta be careful done better. to not m miss those. So you, you might have to practice a Made little it. bit to get some of these courses. But as, as you can see, Brilliant. once you start getting a good line of ones, you're in good shape. You just gotta, like I said, watch where you are and how you do it. And then once you do that, you're pretty much set. You also maybe have to get close to the edge and get through the portal or the whole, you know, what do you want to call those things, sooner. Excellent. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. And as you can see, I got my old time again. So. Getting them in, in past Imelda is not that hard. But if you want to get to first place, if you're like a really good one who likes to challenge yourself, you're going to have to run this course several times. I mean, several. I only ran it once. But I still got pretty well. And let me show you the other course that I already went through. And maybe show you what you're having to, what you will have to get ready for. Because I'm sure some of y'all are like, what's, what about the, set, the other course? Well, the other course is more complicated and the, the goals are closer together so you 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 got to fly really close to up down left or right not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this and then you're going to have to basically get there but let's fly that way and I'll show you what I mean
and uh, and remember, I already have my first upgrade, so you might have to wait till you get an upgrade done before you can get get past that last person. But at least you can try, and it might work out for you. Well, where is that? Did I pass it already? I should have passed it yet. Oh, there you are. I knew I was close. I passed it. Slight movements with the... with your, uh... room and your joysticks make so much makes it a whole lot easier to, to steer. So let's sh show you this one. I'm glad I don't have to stay in the castle for the holidays. I find the staircase is As you can see I've already beaten her too but I only barely beat her and I could and I'm not sure if I can get Elise Morgan or Ruby well because they're so good at this but let's at least show you what it is here we go here's the course for this one take note for those who haven't flown this one yet I am probably gonna make this not as good as I w would but Brilliant. you gonna have to go really down oh and Here's a pleasant surprise. Be really turning left and right on the corners to make sure you can keep with with the uh, course. See, I hate this part where you have to go all the way up. So, brilliant. You probably beat Amelda if you just get as brilliant. many of these balloons as possible. Again. It just depends on how well you do this. Is that how how quickly you can complete the course? Is how quickly how how what how, how much you will get past the Milda. And you are gonna have to turn on the left and the right and do that too. So be on the lookout for that too when you do this. But get as many blue pop me as many as possible. That helps you. <laughs> now that's more like it. And be ready for it to go one way or the other when you do it, because you're gonna have to 
pop the balloons and ride like the wind. I, I make this look easy, but I'm it's not as easy as, as you think. As you can tell, you, know, you you might have to play this game, play this round once or twice to beat Amelda. I had to do at least once for her because she was really good. But if you do it the right way, you'll pretty much beat her. You just gotta be able to get past worrying about a lot of stuff, like worrying about keeping it as straight as possible. You'll want to turn close to the edges and make sure you get the edges because that's sometimes what you need to do to get to the next ring. And I just learned that from just playing this game and playing other games too in the same process. But you can, you can get your score even higher if you really wanted to. I could probably get past that 214 if I really try. Well, I did. I got past Elise. Cool. Elise. Anyway, as you can tell, it's not, it's not as hard as you think, but it might be harder if you are using the keyboard and the mouse. So, if you are doing that right now, I would definitely go through and change it to a, 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 a joystick. And if you like what you saw here, rem remember to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks for Harry Potter. Thank you.